welcome to a new episode of CG Peels from Nigel. Today we are back to talking already. Immediately from Jogen, we made a video about the first impressions basically yesterday, but we get back to work because uh, it's very interesting how the software works and we want to see it with you. A first step related, for example, to the export of data from Geogen to Real that will definitely be very interesting for everyone. We move inside Geogen, so we start to create a first environment. We will do something really very simple. Uh, let's start maybe from the basic setup that we create a new project, so nothing much. Let's uh, work on colors. We have prepared a palette before. Keep in mind that here, do the picking or create a valet uh, more on the plus of field storage. If you want, you can also export them and load them later. We uh, click on the wall that we created before we simply pick some colors from a photo. Maybe the only thing we are going to do is uh, remap a little bit. Here are the data. Uh, perhaps having the clearer part on the mountain grows. If we wanted, we could also go and put one here. Uh, color most associated with vegetation mm. and uh, we could do the same thing here uh, let's see if actually we manage to remap here uh, mm -hmm. it is obviously nothing from an artistic or technical point of view done in the right way but we just needed to have a coloring uh, so for the export there are several ways uh, we right click uh, you see that in the export section we have the animation export uh, say we can also export masks and so on we have color export mesh export currently the mesh can be exported for example in uh, DJ format and upload into other software as far as Unreal is concerned we are interested in the export of the heatmap and color we are creating an 8 map export and we are going to create a color export too so, so uh, we obviously get the colors from the colorize output because it will essentially be this map here. Okay, we return to this output and we connect it to color. And as for the Igma, obviously we take from here and uh, we connect net marble. Uh, let's start uh, with the light uh, map uh, first uh, thing and uh, so we fill it at some bit as for the snapping we set it on unreal so it's in the right format for now we won't deal with let's go for polygon reduction and what not uh, let's just make a new fold uh, and uh, we call this uh, GeoGN8 uh, perfect. It's already exporting. It doesn't take much time. If the resolution is low, we are quite low at the moment. Then we go to export the color for the moment. As you see, it is sRGB. If we want, we can also export it to 16-bit. Uh, for now, it's not a problem. And as you see here, we can also snap to the use of add and real colors and possibly go ahead and make reductions and whatnot. Maybe leave the values as default. And uh, we essentially go define geogenerator color as a map. Uh, Okay, now we have our data exported and we can move to this point inside Unreal. Uh, we will not do anything extremely complex, so we will do something more very, very simple. Uh, the first thing, we don't set anything in the project, it's not fundamental. Let's go to nothing special, let's go to selection mode and shift to landscape or use uh, shift to in this way, we are essentially in the management of creating a landscape, so a terrain. We will create it using the exported map. Uh, instead of clicking on uh, create new, click on import from file. In this way, you see we pass the opportunity to go to load a heat map. And uh, let's select the eighth map that we previously exported. So you see that it has actually created a very large terrain here. Consider that at this moment the resolution is 1900 
X1900. So we're talking about kilometers because we are talking about actual dimensions in meters. Uh, we can leave the values on the default values for the moment. At most, if you want, we can change the scale, but we can do it later too. As for section size, uh, section component, number of components, these are all parameters and values that obviously serve to Unreal to manage the, the terrains. Uh, it's not essential now to actually know what we're talking about. Consider the, the values of uh, the default settings he has made are more than fine then maybe we will come back with a tutorial to talk only about landscape so for now we decide that we are okay with what it is uh, as you can see uh, the import is very fast uh, we come directly out of landscape mode because in this way we manage to return to a visualization it is more suited to what we are essentially need. So we get out of here, go to selection. And as you can see now, our terrain is perfectly imported. The only speech that probably isn't good, but right now we can also go there to perform a thinning out in such a way that uh, we'll have a more fair, more sensible setting. So uh, let's wait a moment for it to do its saving and then we can also cancel it when it is about to perform. Uh, then we move on to texture management, which is another very important element. So, uh, let's switch to landscape. If you want, of course, you can also scale it. Uh, uh, okay, you see, and from here, it's nothing. Space F, and we're essentially zooming in. Terrain, um, one thing you will notice is that the terrain is right, but the height, it's not fair. It's as if the data is not being interpreted correctly. This is something that goes, uh, is something that needs to be always managed within Unreal because data are handled very differently. What is actually defined by... On the monolithic you will find all the information on the website. But keep in mind that uh, z-axis data is managed from negative 256 to positive 256. So they need to be interpolated and brought to the correct value. So uh we actually have the ground height because if we go back to geogen for a moment if we go to our node here on the base we see that the scale is 8 level 3 meters 200 so we calculate 840 meters uh, this means that we should take a step to return to this height uh, at this point uh, inside unreal you can take the calculator do a calculation. We know it's 8043 meters. Passed on the calculator. Uh, you find it anyway, as you said in the manuals, calculate that you essentially need to take our real height, which is 843 meters. Multiply it by a 100, which is in centimeters, and you get a height of 8 a full tarder, 300 centimeters. At this point, uh, the conversion value is practically true, but I reiterate, you can find it on the manual. You need to take this value and multiply it by the ratio of 0 0.0019531.25 and you get 164. This is basically our scale to get the right value. It means, and on the Zex scale, we should use this value. Keep in mind that we scaled by 10, so it won't actually be 164, but essentially 16 point. Uh, and uh, as you see now, we have obtained an effect that is in every way similar to what we had inside of, uh, of Jogen. So um, what is it that we're essentially missing now? 
what we're missing now is the texture the texture is uh, the landscape material we need to create a new one mm -hmm. so what we need to do is go and create uh, let's go into the content browser and touch it so we can have it uh, place it here without uh, creating a folder uh, right click and create a new folder and let's call it maybe materials we are going to move this material here or away uh, let's go in here uh, we rename this uh, next uh, calculate that now we're going to deal with the material we need to import the texture as well so mail i'm going to dredge directly inside the content and so you see that we have our text at this point in materials we can dredge the texture here we are going to connect it save this material for a moment let's rename it so f2 or rename and let's call it terangel jam for now and you can dredge it directly here or here uh, find it here uh, then you will notice that it's not really working right it's as if uh, the mapping coordinates are not the same actually it is so you can see it's tiny because in fact uh, it is setting it with a mapping coordinate that is one meter by one meter while our ground here was practically 1.09 meters so there is a scaling issue so what should we do we can go inside the material and uh, let's go add another node we write landscape we take landscape uh, the structure codes these are the coordinates and we connect them to uv codes subtitles and revision by tds we have anyway made a master material but you see it continues not to work but now we can go to scale you see that the landscape course has a parameter which is the mapping scale if i put for example 500 now you see that it is scaling to that point if i write 1 900 until next time here it is it has been applied correctly so in all respects our terrain has been exported with textures and materials obviously the material should be done better it can be layered and uh, we'll understand maybe later with other tutorials what we can achieve but as you can see we essentially exported our terrain with the uh, texture keep in mind that uh, depending on the resolution of terrain creation and whatever else you will get a better or worse result obviously here we could raise the quality re-export and uh, create more detailed terrain both in terms of texture and uh, as for uh, the landscape is real so it's all very simple we will understand uh, maybe in the next tutorials how to manage even more complex situations however this small tutorial allows you to export data and start playing a bit with this fusion between so George and Aria. We hope it's useful. We'll be in touch soon for new tutorials. And shortly, as I said, CG Plays Chapter 1 will be released. Let's see. Essentially, that's all. Thank you again and see you soon. Uh